Medicine should always be about using the safest treatment first. Dr. David Velkoff is the medical director of Southern California's Drake Institute for Behavioral Medicine. Like the Moreau's, he thinks too many ADHD children are over-medicated. I think that there are children that need to be medicated, but I think the medications often are used uh, in ways that really we don't know, in, in dosages that we haven't proven to be safe. The problem is that the drugs el problema es que las drogas no acaban con el desorden y no sabemos qué efectos a largo plazo tienen en los niños, dice el doctor. I am very concerned about how many children are medicated so aggressively today for this disorder. And everything in my medical intuition tells me it's wrong. That we don't have long-term studies on the effectiveness and safety of these drugs. These patients are very bright, but they can't perform up to their full capacity. It's not that they don't want to, but they can't. Neurologically, their brain isn't aroused enough to stimulate the highest the higher circuits in the brain they operate on their own rules they don't like rules they can't they don't listen they can't follow directions they're out of synchrony with the outside world they're almost operating on their own standards in our treatment they're getting treatment on normalizing brain functioning and when they do it enough times the brain begins to just renormalize its patterns and it works that way all the time without any more treatment so it, it not only can reverse the disorder which the drugs don't do but it greatly enhances the child's self-esteem and self-confidence because they're performing as well as the other kids without medication any longer you learn how to focus and concentrate and produce brain waves that reflect our brain is shifting to a faster speed rather than needing a drug to speed up the brain because most of the drugs that are used for ADD are basically at speed. With practice, Velkoff says, no, the process no, becomes not. automatic. He claims success for three out of four patients. Our longest follow-up is eight years. If you have attention deficit disorder and you're symptom-free for three months, six months, a year, you don't have attention deficit disorder any longer. It's a comprehensive treatment program. It's not just neurofeedback, as powerful as it is, is not a standalone treatment. If we didn't work with parents here and work with teachers, we never would help children to the degree that we do.